Hi, my name is Sarah Drake. I am a fiscal year 2021 recipient of a creative support for individuals grant from the Minnesota State Arts Board. This activity is made possible by the voters of Minnesota through a grant from the Minnesota State Arts Board thanks to a legislative appropriation from the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. A huge thank you for this. I am a visual artist, uh, mostly paper collage with some mixed media and author. My project is to work with students to create um, comfort in using the art materials provided, but also an understanding of immigration and enhance cross-cultural experiences through making art with students in other schools and um, that may look different than them or have a different religion or a different background story. And we used art to connect our similarities and our differences. And we had students from Cass Lake Bina in an art class and a language art class, an art class in Holding Ford, and a language art class at South Junior High in St. Cloud. And the goal was to demonstrate comfort with the art making and the skills, but then, you know, what could they learn from each other through art making and about how to be um, a better citizen of not just our central Minnesota or state or country, but the globe. And we used um, art, like you see behind me, we had artists from around the world that we did descriptive review on so that we learned how to not just take a quick judgment, but really analyze and look at things. We had a, a welcoming and non-judging environment. We increased our cultural competency by doing descriptive review and um, hearing each other's stories. And then um, just being able to come together, even though it was through the computer at a time when we couldn't come together, um, the students still learned a lot from each other. And so through this video, you will see um, pictures of their work, you will see writing, and there will be my artwork also, which is an interpretation of everything that happened. And um, for me, you know, being in Minnesota, this land was originally Anishinaabe, or you may know the word Ojibwe or Chippewa, um, and Lakota, or you may know Dakota or Sioux. And our students here that weren't from the Leech Lake or Red Lake reservations didn't know the history of Minnesota. And so uh, it was really important for me to make that shine in my piece of work. Um, the other students' stories are represented but we have a lot of information about how folks immigrated from Europe, um, but we don't have a lot on our folks that were indigenous to this land and here, and our enslaved um, neighbors that were forced to come here. And so that's where the focus of my work happens. I was very intentional about the materials and how many materials. We had seven keywords that we looked at it during this program. You know, indigenous, immigrant, refugee, asylum seeker, adopted, and enslaved. And so I have seven art materials. There's also seven clans. Um, from the students that are part of the Ojibwe tribe and um, we'll learn about those and there's also seven grandfather teachings so having seven different materials was very intentional there are pieces where it's a little bit sloppy and um, again that's intentional that's for those who um, you know, indigenous folks who had to go through the history that they did to get to now. It's also for those who were newly arrived and there wasn't somebody to help them figure things out. It was, those were messy things. And then we have some of the, the paper collage pieces where I printed out the shape of the animal. It was a little bit of a template. I had a little bit of help. 
and that represents those who have come to the country and had help either from services, from family or friends that were here before them, people that could teach and guide them and make their adjustment here a little bit easier. And so um, that represents that. So I hope you enjoy the work that the students made. Again, we had an art and language art classes. So you'll see both. And then my piece that incorporated their visual and writing uh, into my piece that kind of brought all of us uh, together in this one piece. So enjoy and thank you.